I have to tell you, Rana, this guest is someone who I have long admired. Longer Fabulous. than I've even known her. I've known oh, her oeuvre. Without question. Yeah. No question. When I first got to LA, I saw her do a show at UCB that yeah. truly changed the game for me. This is a person you see on stage and yes. you think, how can I get close to them? And, and the answer is, you can't. You can't. Absolutely. <laughs> she, you know her from her own podcast with Jason, Jessica St. Clair Womp It Up. You know her from Playing House. You know her from Best Friends Forever. You know her from a picture that was taken once where I was smiling at the camera and Lennon was at the Earwolf offices behind me <laughs> looking really upset about something. And I sent <laughs> Lennon the picture and I was like, look how great this is. But it was a very candid moment of her. <laughs> Lennon Parm's here. <laughs> you guys. You how can't are you, dear? We can't forget Bless This Mess, of course. Oh, oh sure. Yeah, duh. Hit the hit, sh- hit one and a half season. <laughs> So it was hey, a true Hey, that's a one and a half. Blessing. That's one and a half more than most people get. Excuse that's, me. It was a, it was a true blessing. <laughs> How you, are you? I'm good. I have a cat on my lap. Um, oh, Nina. you wouldn't be the first. Oh, that's a good looking cat. This is that's Nina a beautiful Simone. One. Wow. She's so she's pretty. She's, she's a Russian blue. <laughs> Does she like people or is she to herself? No, she de- she likes she's actually when we got her we were like she this is a dog cat like she w- played fetch with us. She's terrified of my children though. So <laughs> she's very what? sociable. Yeah, she's very sociable with us at night as soon as they go to bed on a lap hanging out, but the minute my children walk in the door, she's gone. Do you think it's because she knows that the kids are sort of like rough and tumble or something? Yeah, they're wild cards. You sure. never know what they're going to do. They're Cats gonna don't pet- like that. No. They're going to pet the wrong way on the fur. They're going to grab and pull something. I mean, a lot of people like that, but not her. She's a Russian blue, you said. So does that mean she's a purebred? I don't. We got her from a rescue, so she might be a mix, but she's largely Russian blue. And you went to Russia for her? Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's well, great. so we're Petersburg. learning. Yes, so we're beautiful. learning a few things <laughs> here. Gorgeous. So you're part of you're part of all the the whole Russian, uh, shall we say? It's yes, a Russian. It's like a mail order, but for cats. Oh, I see. You're saying it's a 90 day cat fiance there situation. You go. Yep. Yeah, but I no was suggesting returns. that you had been paid yeah. in cats for the work, the the election rigging that you'd been doing in this country. <laughs> <laughs> one cat. I got the one cat that I wanted. Just the one. But when you did Bless This Mess, they paid Ten you in years cats? Ago. Okay. Yeah, that's what, and part of my contract, I only do a, I only do a double banger trailer yeah. and they must give me cats. Okay. Multiple cats, just for the duration of the show and then they take them back. Well, people that's are great. too attached to monetary, uh, you know. I have everything I need. Compensation like, I need anyway. More, you know? Okay, yeah. communists. I'd like to move on from this well, conversation. I feel saying, very uncomfortable. Why is a contract always I'll pay you in money? Why isn't I'll, uh, how about I just buy you a car instead? That's and worth the amount join, that I was going to pay you. And how about you join Nixium, Ron, if that's the life you want to live? You know what? We live in a capitalist country, as Lenin well knows. I'm mm. going to start my own cult instead. <laughs> I'll join it. Uh, Lennon, dear, what we do on this show, first of all, we have to say a special shout out to you from Tony Mana, our dear Tony Mana. Oh, yes. Who adores you. You went to college together. We went to college together. That's right. Yeah. He emailed me that, uh, he's been doing some behind the scenes work for you guys. And I was like, well, love him. Love you. And you guys were at University of Phoenix together? I forget what Uh, the... (laughs) Yes. We got, we both got, uh... Almost conservatory-like theater training at the University of Phoenix. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's so personal there. All online. All online, huh? Still all, still all the, like, <laughs> trappings of, like, break you down into, like, you know, you you doubt yourself. Your confidence is, is eroded sure, so that sure. you can then be built back up to do the seagull, you know? Very, exactly. But online, yeah. But in location. <laughs> In Evansville, how, Indiana. How was Terrific. that? Produ- how was that production of the Seagull? You know, there were two professors in it. Uh, I think I did wigs for that for that particular show. I'm not even kidding. Um, so it was beautiful. It was a beautiful production, though. 